Hello everyone. In a previous video, I recorded how to convert text into stitches and into shapes. And I wanted to continue on that path and talk about when you converted text to a shape in the form of an outline. To do that, I have the letter C on the screen. And I know that this is text because I see that I have the text tab and I also see I have text attributes. And I also have the same thing in the sewing attributes that I would normally have for text. Let me make the C a little bit larger so you can see it. And let's convert it to an outline. As I showed you on the previous video, when you convert to an outline, you can convert to stitches, you can create offset lines, and you can create a floral pattern. You can also convert to a region, a region to a line. And what this means is it will convert those stitches that are region fills, which is currently a, a satin stitch. And let me make it a little bit larger so that you will be able to see this and we'll convert it to the region and then what you see that region's been converted excuse me to a line which is right now a running stitch if i make it a zigzag stitch you'll see a series of, of wider stitches that are zigzag stitches and it actually fills it up and we'll go back to the running stitch so that you can just see the little lines. Let's undo a couple of times so we're back to that letter C. And we are in, still have the shape tab and let's reduce the size of it a little bit. And what we want to do now is we want to choose one of the other options. Let's choose create a floral pattern. When you choose this option, what you have is something that looks like um, the spire graph that I had as a child. And you can change the appearance of these by adjusting the slider bar. So if you select one of them and you choose this slider bar, what you'll notice is it really doesn't matter which one is selected because the the slider bar affects all of them. So that's one thing to note. And the other thing is you can go into what's called the detail mode. And in the detail mode, you can change the density of the design you have selected. But you can also change the pattern and make it look very, very unique. It doesn't even look like the C that we had in the beginning. Let's choose cancel. And we'll go back into the create the floral pattern. And let's just choose this C and choose OK. Once you have that pattern, you don't have to keep your uh, original C. So let's click off on the screen. And let's go ahead and select the top C that was the text. And let's delete it. And you can do that by choosing Home and Delete. Now that you have that character on the screen, you can do several things with it. You can copy it, duplicate it, and do all those things. You can go to the Range tab. I really haven't recorded a video of this, but you can do something like a circle copy. And when you do that, you can, we'll leave it at the defaults that are on the screen. And we'll just change the spacing on this. And now what I'll do is I'll draw an ellipsis or a circle. If I wanted it to be a perfect circle, I would hold down my shift key. And now what I can do is I can move those characters around that circle and change it however I want and create my own unique pattern. So all of that was done using the letter C and converting it to a shape and converting it by converting it to an outline and then converting it to creating a floral pattern. Let's clear the page and we won't save it and we'll just go ahead and type that text C again.
and we'll highlight it and we'll go back and convert it to the outline again so that makes it a shape we'll make it larger so you can see it and let's place it in the center of the screen now let's convert this to stitches when you convert it to stitches you now have the attributes for stitches this means that you can split the stitches you can convert it to blocks and you can convert it to outlines We'll convert it, uh, we'll split the stitches first, and I'll show you how to do that. This is nice if you wanted to, for instance, um, split a letter, although there are some split letters that are built into the software, and you may want to use those. But let's go ahead and go to stitches, and we'll split it, and you'll have an icon that looks like a pair of scissors. Now what you need to do is you need to draw a bounding box around what you want to split. And what I'm going to do is use my lines to keep a, a straight line. Once you've entered your third point, you can double click. And what it will do is you'll notice there's two boxes on the screen. You can see your objects have actually been split. And you can move one of them. We'll just slide it up. And now what you could do is you could digitize something across, and you would need to, across the bottom of this so that you could have a split letter. And you would do that, for instance, by choosing a, ch a shape. I'll choose a rectangle. And what I need to do is I need to draw it over the bottom of those stitches. And I'll just close it in. Now, I don't want it obviously to be a cross stitch. I would have it as a fill stitch and I don't need a running stitch around the outs outside of it. But I would do that on the top and the bottom and then I would bring them back together and I would have a, a split letter. And if I was really doing in this in reality, I would be changing both of these from satin stitches to another type of, uh, of a stitch. And I would have done that when it was a shape. Because right now, it is a stitch. And if you notice in your sewing attributes, you cannot change that. All right, let's clear this page. And we'll go back and select it. Let's choose an O this time. Doesn't really matter what letter. I'm just trying to show you how things work. So I'll type the letter O. And we'll make this a little bit larger. And we'll go back to text and convert it to an outline. And let's look at. Uh, and, and let's go ahead and change this to a fill. So we're going to do a fill stitch in the center so that when I make this larger, first of all, it would, will have a nice appearance. And let's go ahead and move it to the center of our page. Now let's go back to shapes and let's create offset lines. If you choose to create an inward offset line, and first thing I have no sew line here, so I, I will probably want to go ahead and change that no sew line so that I have an outline and we'll make it a zigzag stitch. I can delete this later, but I, I want to have a stitch selected. So now that I have everything selected, We'll go to create offset and let's choose inward first. It's five millimeters, so let's preview what happens whenever we do that. What we've done is we created an, an offset line that was five millimeters inside. Let's increase it to two and let's preview it. Now you can see you can get some very unique looks by doing that. We'll choose cancel and let's undo it. And now we'll be back at the beginning. So let's go back to the shape. We'll choose the zigzag and let's, for the outline. And let's choose the create offset lines. 
This time let's make it outward and we'll make it three. And we'll leave it still at five millimeters and we'll choose OK. Now what you have are three lines that have been created, but you notice there is some distortion um, on the shape. And I don't know what, what exactly has caused that, whether it is because of the type of the fill or whatever, but it, it is something that I could work at and edit. I can also go in and I can select the line if I don't like it, and I can delete it. So let's do that by going to Home and choose Delete. And I'll go ahead and delete one of these other ones as well. And I'll choose uh, Delete on it. But first I have to select it. So if I don't have black handles, I can't do anything. And I'll choose Delete. Now I have my stitches here. And one of the questions I wondered is if, I can change the type of stitches for the inside line and the outside line. So let's select the outside line and let's change it from a zigzag to a motif stitch. And the answer is yes, you can. So now you understand some of the things that you can do using text and converting that text from a text attribute to a shape and taking that outline and adding either offset lines or creating a floral design or changing it to stitches. I hope this is helpful. And as my husband said to me today, I need to say please like and share these videos. Thank you. Bye.